just going to be me explaining how I do the door of time skip. Um, it's not fully consistent, but it's kind of a half setup. You should at least get it within a minute, maybe two at worst, I'd say. Obviously, a consistent setup would be great. But anyway, so get into the corner. Now, I basically line up my the bottom of my first heart with this part of the wall, this like side of the dark bit of the pillar, or just slightly right of it. Um, I'm always holding up and then just slowly moving the camera, right? You'll notice when I'm just holding up, the camera's slowly moving and the hearts are slowly going left, right? So make the camera so the first heart is just past that bit. And then you just want to, you don't want to mash rolls. If you roll too fast, then the statue is likely to flip into the wall and that's annoying. But I also feel it might just be, be placebo, but I feel like if you're not getting it for minutes like this, it's because you're mashing too slow. I feel like there might be a, a middle ground where you have to get, I don't know, a first frame, that roll, and then like a second frame, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, I start here. And then as soon as the bottom of the first heart goes out of this dark area, so it starts going further left, it won't work. I've never had it where the hearts have gone that far and I've got it to work. So at that point, I just redo the camera. And that's basically what I do. I just keep like scanning over that area of the hearts and hope I get it. So I'm just going to keep going for it now. And hopefully I do get it reasonably quickly. There you go. That's nice. I'll do it a few more times, just because that was fast. I'm not going to lie, sometimes it is really slow and I start to think the setup shit. But then other times I'll get it really quickly, like three times in 30 seconds. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like the timing of the mashing has something more to do with it. Um, you probably can go too far right when you start, but there's no harm in it. It just wastes time. You Try and look at the hearts when you're practicing it, I find, so you can see when you get the clip roughly where the heart was. See, it's gone too far now, so I just realign hearts. And then you keep trying. Okay, if, if it clips, just hold L and then back walk and then just hold up left and you can pretty simply just like squeeze in without having to do any stupid shit. So like, that's a quick way to keep retrying. See, I feel like I'm mashing too fast now because the statue's clipping, so try and slow it down. Now the heart's too far left, just keep trying. There you go. Um, see, that one was quite slow, but when the statue clips, it kind of sucks anyway. I don't know how long it takes to get out, but... Let's line up the hearts. <laughs> see? Like, I just got it in, what, two rolls? So, I feel like this setup, although it's not really a setup, you can get it at least pretty consistently. I'd say, like, two minutes is, like, the worst I've ever gotten. Maybe. And then, like I said, I sped up my tapping and I started getting it faster, I felt. Yeah, okay, I think I've demonstrated this good enough. So I'll just recap the hearts with my little makeshift pointer in OBS. Uh, what's the statue doing? So you see where the first heart is now? Just before that dark spot, just that line, that's where I start. And as soon as the heart's passed about here, that's when I readjust by just slightly holding left on the C stick. Um, Making a proper setup where you like you position the statue and then do like one hell roll, that'd be so good. But I'm not good at making setups. I hope this helps people, and if you build upon it, do let me know. Bye.